Hey everyone, my name is Zach. I'm a 22 year old competitive bowler from Canada, currently living near Frankfurt, Germany. Welcome back to the Comp Climb training series, where I record all of my training, provide in depth analysis of every session, and just chat about climbing with an emphasis on competition. So, I'll start this video off by mentioning that yesterday, Maddie and I had our session at Crimp, the new uh, bouldering gym that's opening in Heidelberg. Um, the owner and the setting crew invited us to come give like their opening set a test run. And what we did is like, we just filmed a bunch of content. There was like a professional videographer there as well. And we just had like this epic mega session, like so much fun testing out bowlers and, and getting a bunch of content. So that happened yesterday. And basically like this gym was so epic and the session we had was so epic that I want to do this video justice. And um, like I had a bit of experience like making the studio block setting video, obviously, but there's some things I think I could have done better for that video. And so I'm going to really try and take a bit more time with uh, this crimp video and like really do the gym and the hype session justice. So uh, it's the, chronologically, the session took place yesterday. I don't know if the video will have already come out yet at this point. Probably not. Um, so you will you can expect that probably coming out in like a few days, a week. I don't know if it hasn't come out uh, like yesterday for some reason, but I doubt it. I really want to take my time with it and uh, and, and do it justice. So it get like, like the session happened yesterday. It was so sick. The gym is epic. Um, like it's the, I won't say too much about it. You, you can check out the video, but it's like a very comp uh, focused gym. So like there's like a bunch of comp style bowlers. Uh, the setters did a great job with the opening set. It was really, really hype. So tune in for that video. It's going to be pretty cool. Um, so yeah, anyway, uh, like that session was so big and mega that it destroyed our skin. Like it was a brand new gym, obviously. And um, I was like pretty destroyed after that. Luckily I had just enough skin and, and energy levels to have a session today uh, at Boulder which is what we're doing. And on the program, we were supposed to do a, a comp simulation today, but today is a Sunday and Sundays um, are like super packed. Like Sundays, like uh, it's like a, a European holiday. This is actually something that it was me and Maddie and I had to get used to when we moved to Germany. It was like, I think Canada used to have this actually, but they stopped doing it for some reason where like everything is closed on a Sunday and it's like uh, sort of like just a weekly holiday that the workers like employee, like people just don't have a work day on uh, the weekend. Like everything is closed. Like even the grocery stores, it's just like a forced like stay at home day. And I can see how it's like um, definitely nice, but it means that Sunday is, is just the climbing gyms are a zoo. So I got here and I walk in the gym and I said, okay, there's no way I am doing a comp simulation today. So I decided to just sub it out for an hour of bouldering um, just because like it, practically there was no way I was going to do a comp simulation. Even if like I thought about maybe doing some bowlers as a comp simulation if there were like like sort of empty bowlers. But if it's like you're worried about your comp simulation being interfered with, that's actually can ruin a comp simulation. Even just the principle of like what you're trying to practice, which is like getting in the zone and really focusing on your tactics. If you're like like all the time kind of worried that your simulation is going to be interrupted by other climbers. It's like, even if it doesn't actually happen, just the the idea of being worried about it can, and you're not actually going to be practicing what you're trying to practice, which is like really focus on what you're doing. So I just said, yeah, I'll just uh, have a regular bowling session. And uh, the comp wall like has all new bowlers for me. I haven't tried any of these because we haven't uh, bouldered here at Boulder Belt in a while. And already we're starting off with this super epic boulder, uh, this nine, like they had a couple, like this black one to the left as well. These couple boulders are like super hard looking and I was psyched to give them a try. Um, and yeah, there was like some really good stuff up in the gym. I was psyched. It was going to be a good session of bouldering. And something I was really noticing today as well, um, like even just like starting off on, like actually even like yesterday, I was feeling it a lot. And then it sort of continued into today. Uh, and like on this full first boulder and on this boulder that we're about to try here, I am like really starting to feel like the performance uh, phase of training is like really, I'm starting to get into the groove of it. And like all we've been doing just mainly bouldering for the past few sessions. And even already, like I'm really getting into the groove and my body is just like, it's like hungry for boulders right now. I just feel like I, like you can just put boulders in front of me and my body's gonna f know how to figure out these boulders. And like the um, the self too metaphor that I've talked about a lot in the past, I can really feel myself too, my like unconscious self, my body, my body's like sort of instincts are really strong right now. And they are, they're like really getting in, I'm like peaking, like that we're trying to do like a pretty moderate peak for nationals. And even just like a couple weeks out, I'm already starting to feel like really like uh, for the sort of, uh, you know, uh, the scale that I'm at right now, um, I'm feeling unstoppable, which is like, you know, just sort of like these gyms around Frankfurt, uh, I'm feeling unstoppable in the gyms, which is like, you know, I don't always feel like this. I have to be feeling like pretty good. Um, also shout out to Plamen. <laughs> you can see him getting like a kick out of what just happened. He, uh, he was pretty impressed that I got, was able to flash this boulder. Um, 
and uh, yeah, he's 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 a buddy of mine at at Bolivar, so shout out to him. And um, yeah, like I like today, I was like yesterday, I was feeling super good, and I I had like some really good uh, just like feeling you know, like I did some really good moves, and I like impressed myself a few times. You know when that happens when you sort of like are climbing and you impress yourself, and it's always a great feeling. I I impressed myself a few times yesterday, and I had like such a good session that. Um, that's sort of like, remember that episode I was where I was talking about momentum, like more in terms of like, uh, what happens when you have like a really good competition, that's sort of like when your mind has been firing and you've been doing your comp, you're like, your mind was like super focused on competing and you did really well. And you sort of brought out your, yourself too, like really, uh, well, and it was like big and powerful and it was like out ready to attack boulders, your like instinctual climbing self. And it gets like really activated. I found that's what happened yesterday. Like the session yesterday was almost like a competition because we, we had this brand new gym put in front of us and we just with comp style bowlers. And I was just like, went and tried a whole bunch of comp style bowlers. And I tried to do as much as I could, uh, like as much as possible in the session. And it felt like it was a competition. And so like that sort of same effect where that momentum was, I felt it carry through to today. And, um, and that's actually like the sort of whole idea of a performance training cycle is to just hammer yourselves with boulders and just climb and climb and climb. And then also with comp simulations so that you really start to build momentum. You take all the strength and um, and uh, like the strength training and and from the past few training cycles we've done, we've had our rest weeks to sort of like start having the strength like build. And now we take it, we put it into performance. We start sending a bunch of boulders, trying a bunch of boulders in comp simulations. And then we start building more momentum, more momentum and more momentum so that by the time we get to nationals, uh, we have like this whole train of like good bouldering behind us and like the momentum has just been building and building and then we're peaking and then hopefully nationals goes really well. So that's the plan. Also tip of the day. Okay. Look at this bowler. Look how I, uh, set up for this first move. Notice how I'm sinking really low into my legs and, and I'm almost like stretching my lats. So this is going to bring me into the tip of the day for today. And, um, I've been, this is another one where it's like, I could have said this, I could have said this in a lot of episodes and this is just like a really nice potent one that I could have gotten off at any time. And uh, we're just getting to it today. But this is another one of my favorite ones. I feel like dinos are a strength of mine. Um, I'm always good with like big distance dinos. And one thing that really helps me with that is the way that I really set up for these moves. Uh, first, before I continue with this tip of the day, I'm gonna pause and shout out Yannick uh, for this slab. Every time Yannick sets a slab on the comp wall, they're just such quality. This boulder is so good. Like not only is it pretty and, and it climbs really well, here I'm also trying, I'm repeating it with a different sequence. Um, this definitely looked like it was possible and it turned out to be probably just as hard as like doing the step step. Uh, but the ending of this boulder is also super nice. And also I'm like here, like I'm trying out my full foot position that I love so much. I was trying to see if it was better on this volume, but the full, full, full foot position doesn't always work. And so I was like playing around with it here and I realized that it wasn't actually good for this ending. But the ending of this boulder is also really nice. This, um, finish hold is like a pancake, but it's like sticking out of the wall just enough. And I think I wouldn't actually be able to no hands balance and touch the finish. You need just the tiny bit of support that the thumb gives you to match that finish. It's a super, like, it's like a superhero finish move. This boulder was quality. Like, Yannick uh, did a good job with this one. Shout out to him. All of his slabs on the comp are always really good. Um, so, yeah, the tip of the day is to, like, um, like, just for dinos, especially for distance dinos, where you need, you're just, like, trying to get height and power. Oftentimes, like, people can just, like, sort of, like, get into the mindset of, okay, I'm going to establish on the wall and just jump really hard and really powerful and sort of also just focus on really just like pulling super hard. But the way you can really uh, level up your dinos and get like the maximum value from just the movement is uh, to not only sink as far down into your legs as you can go and almost feel like you're stretching them a bit, but also into your lats. So you want to sink as far down into your lats and then as far down into your like legs and hamstrings as you can. And basically what this does is it just gives you more bang for your buck in terms of how much muscles you're going to use, how many muscles in your body you're going to use. So the way you can think about it is like, let's say you were to do a dyno and you were just to pull from like about 90 degrees with your arms or something bent, and maybe your legs were like similar. You're using half the amount of muscles that you would be able to if you would were to like stretch all the way into your lats and sink all the way down in your hamstrings. Because now when you're sinking all the way down, now you're not just using like this sort of half of your arm using all this other half, right? You're going to start, you're going to use your lats. You're going to use more of your bicep. And basically you just get more muscles into play and it gives you way more purchase and way more power for the dyno. Like the lower you sink into your hamstrings and legs and the bigger you sink into your lats. Now all of a sudden it doesn't even need to be as fast as movement because like you just have so much more time to engage muscles in your body and like use more muscles and therefore giving you more power and more just momentum and push 
into that uh, into a, into a dyno. And just that's what I was really emphasizing on that slab. I sunk down as low as I could get. Like, there's a bit of mobility required to do this. Like, the lower you can go is like dependent on how much mobility you have, and that's why just being mobile, a mobile climber is always handy. Um, so like, I found I could really get nice and low into my hamstrings and legs and like sink really down low. And then I just had so much sort of like elasticity built up in my body that I could unwind it into the jump. And especially for that dyno where you just have to get as much height as possible. And yeah, sure. You're like super Mario, like jumping can help boost you through the move, but it still helps to have just a whole lot of power going to the move that emphasizing, uh, like elongating my body and like sinking really low really helped. So that's uh, today's tip of the day. Just sink, sink low into the lats and sink low into like your hamstrings and your legs and you'll get more uh, power out of the jump. So we finished off a short session of uh, bouldering, just an hour of bouldering at Boulder Velt. Um, so today's episode is just featuring our morning session of bouldering at Boulder Velt. Like I said, I'm not really filming my workouts as much anymore. I'll only film them when they're relevant just because it's not interesting to see the same workout all the time. So after the session, I went to Boulder House and then did my short little workout. But yeah, that wrapped up today's day of training. And then one last thing I want to mention in this video is that uh, today was like Maddie and I were going back and forth for a few days, but today we finally decided like uh, we're actually not going to do the Master Fire. So I, I've been mentioning how we're going to we were going to go take part in the Master Fire event, the competition happening in Brussels in Belgium. Um, but we're, we were like going to fly to Canada the next day, and especially after the crimp session, like our skin is destroyed. It's just really going to be hard to fit it in without it being like an absolute nightmare. Um, yeah, it's, 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 we're kind of bummed that we have to miss it, but it's just, it's just, it's going to be way too hard to try and fit it in. So Maddie and I actually will not be attending the event in Brussels called the Master Fire. Um, so yeah, on the next on the horizon, we just have like a few more days of training here in Germany, and then we're going to be flying to Canada, uh, for nationals and we'll do some training there, uh, which is going to be really exciting. I can't wait to feature like our local gyms. It'll be fun for sure. So look forward to that. <clears throat> Insert catchy video out here.